Okay, here we are again with another episode of Overlord Season 4. This time, Episode 2. And yeah, last episode was very interesting. A slow episode to get back into it slowly. And with interesting questions like, where is the kingdom? Where is the nation going? And trying to win the Adventurer Guild over so that the Adventurer can go out to the unknown and probably build reputation or like, not reputation, but like, um, <clears throat> negotiate for like to ally up with other races, uh, other races and other nations. So yeah, interesting to see where it's going. And I would say let's start with episode two. Rule as an iron-fisted dictator. Ah, that's not really his plan, right? I don't understand the desire with world domination, but I can't reject it, so I let them do it because I don't understand it. I mean, that's a good goal, right? Everyone is equal if he can do it. <laughs> he let out a sigh, so he's disappointed in me. <laughs> oh, the princess. I mean, I don't know if she's like completely bad or if it's just like a front she's using where she's nice to people. I mean, we know that she has some disturbing plans, especially for Climb. Oh, does she mean with not all humans can be strong? Does she think of Momonga? Not wrong, completely. Brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not everyone has the talent, like to see the magic power of someone. Oh. <laughs> I think she does this on purpose, getting like close to him, jumping on his lap, so that they get a better connection, like that Climb gets more attached to her. Uh oh, Climb gets aroused. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If they wouldn't be so strong, they would have died. <laughs> and she's still in love with Momonga. Momon. Oh. Oh, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> oh, I mean, not even surprising. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's dead, dead. Yeah, I think he's dead, right? I think he also died. Oh, the princess? Oh. Oh. <laughs> she can read him like a book. He missed to say with climb. <laughs> and he's training. Oh, that's Gazef's attack. Did he learn it? To take over his place, maybe? Oh, the guys from the trailer. 
頃負けした時はひどい顔をしておったあの頃は俺でも強者の頂に立てると勘違いしていたからなうんふん In the meantime, he learned that he is like a small fish in a big pond. Yep, he is. Oh, Gazef was also a student? Damn. Oh, okay, maybe not. He never used it. Oh, he doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be it. The more the merrier, but it won't help much, I guess. They would have to get crazy strong people to face irons. I doubt it. Oh damn, some fiery... Whatever those are, I don't think it's horses. With those horns. So his majesty? Isn't he... Oh no, oh yeah, he's still alive. Okay, completely forgot that. He's like, what the fuck? They don't have names? Yep. And they're like, oh, she's so beautiful. Damn. Damn, bro. <laughs> God damn. Groundbreaking methods. And everyone is in awe. She's so beautiful. I mean, I can't blame him. He better be careful or she's dead. I don't like how he's saying that. If we join the kingdom of the sorcerer king, that will profit us. All means necessary. I mean, maybe he's not completely wrong, I guess. Sounds like he has a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How one can be so wrong. どうされるのですか最近できた知り合いの女主人の家を借ります。俺行きはどうなっておりますか不要だ。そんなことが… Big Booba。私はフィリップ様の協力者として甘いシルを吸わせていただくんです。学士ごとに見せてください。の戦争の後、新たに当主や後継ぎになった方を選んでいますから。I mean that makes sense going for the heirs. That's not bad. Oh my god, Alberto goes with him? Oh. <laughs> and he thinks, oh my lucky day. I think he almost died. <laughs>
but I think she controls herself really well. She reminds me a little bit of the girl from the Eight Fingers. Or maybe is it her? <laughs> Don't do it, dude. You will die. Oh, it is her, probably. And she's afraid because she knows what's up. Oh. So this is all a plan. Oh. Yeah, he got lucky that he got away. <laughs> a puppet? Or maybe she refers to the dude as puppet. Oh my god, this is so good. Man, I like... I love the artworks. What is the staff about? Oh, Albedo looks so good. Oh, here we go. After credit. Albedo... Oh! 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 Before the invasion, oh my god! <笑><笑> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> okay, this was episode 2 <laughs> of Overlord. I'm so hyped, man! It's so good! Dude, the ending! Holy shit! <laughs> dude, episode 1, uneventful, slow, still good. This episode started slow and built up, built up, built up, and the ending was just boom. Oh. So, first of all, I completely forgot that Hilma was the girl from the Eight Fingers. I mean, I thought, yeah, she looks similar with the makeup and all that stuff, but because she looked so pale um, and a bit different... I, I, th I think her hair wasn't as blonde as in season 2 and she looked like, like I said, she looked a bit pale. So, and she looked like a bit like, uh, um, <clears throat> like, what's the word? Let me check really quick. Scrawny? I guess scrawny maybe. Um, she looked a bit scrawny like if she hadn't eaten in a while. But I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense because uh, <clears throat> Aura and Mare tortured her like, get uh this weird bug thing in uh, in Nazarek get him and eat her inside out and all that stuff so so she lived through some hell through some crazy stuff so it makes sense that she looks a bit sickish like is is she's a bit sick like pale and all that stuff which can also result that because of all the stress that uh, stress that your hair color like gets more grayish or becomes gray from all the stress so I guess that makes sense that she looks that way. But it just hit me at the end now. And man, Alberto has so much self-control that the, she planned it all. I guess, I guess when she talks about the puppet, I think she means the guy. I have to rewatch it. Because there were a few points, because I'm not a fast reader, so there are a few points where I'm a bit slow when it comes to reading, so I missed a few things. Um... So maybe she means with, we can make a new puppet or whatever. Maybe she means the guy that, because Alberto is so pissed about him, that she's like, okay, we can get rid of him and get a new one and go again. Or maybe she talked about something else. Maybe she talked about puppet, the thing that we saw at the end that went out of the shadow and just dissolved. Maybe that's a puppet. I don't know. 
Um, but man, that's like she planned it all along this whole thing. That's why she allowed him to get close to her and talk to her and touch her, Alberto, um, because she planned it all along to abuse him for their gains. And then the end with Rena. Holy shit! I mean, I've always thought since we saw her, like she is twisted, and she is twisted, and so it makes sense that. Um, she would synergize with Nazarek and Einzel Gon and all that stuff because they are basically the bad guys and have a big plan and they can give her stuff that she desires because they have the resources basically with all the stuff they have, right? So it makes sense that they get a connection to her and try to use her for their gains again and because she is out for like, not really power, right? Rena is not really out for power and becoming queen or whatever. Or she's just like, she wants her goal with like, I guess her only goal is really to get like climb, right? I guess that's like her main goal. And so, and maybe, I guess it's not her only goal. I guess there's more to it, but that's like one of her goals. And Eins can promise her that stuff. Like whatever she's planning, Eins can promise it to her because he has the resources and the power. And so, of course, she is like all in for it. And I thought always there might be like a connection they might synergize to, together because Eins is basically the bad guy and she's twisted and also um when we had Tua, uh, tuare in season two um they saw renna <clears throat> uh not in connect I, I don't know if it's connection with tuare but when we were in season two before they attacked the city they talked about um renna i think if I remember correctly, and they said something like, yeah, they look similar or whatever. So they already had plans with her. And I think that's where it started, that they get a connection with Renna, maybe. And man, it's just so incredible to see that, how it plays out. And I wonder, I, I want to see more. I want to see where it's going. I want to see what the end goal is. Like, what is Renna's end goal? What's she planning? And what do Alberta want? It seems like at the end, let me check again. Uh, there was something going on. Behind the closed doors. Um, <clears throat> understood. We will gather uh, gather a proper tribute and prepare countermeasures for the kingdom's inevitable, uh, inevitable, inevitable food shortage. So they plan to do something here with the food and stuff. Uh, have you found any information about magic items? Uh, there was something else, I think. There was definitely, they said something about an invasion. Let me see. No. Magic item? Was it after that? No. There was something about an invasion. First, I will have all of you smuggle goods into the Sorcerer Kingdom. So they want to get, maybe, uh, they maybe want to get um, goods from ReSDs and get it to Ion's Kingdom because they have shortage. Where's the thing with the uh, uh, invasion? Did I misread that stuff? Is the magic item stuff? Or do I skip over it the whole time? A tribute, uh, sell the item for a reasonable price, an uh, inevitable food shortage. Magic item found again, and that's where the end hits, I guess. Yes. Or did it, or was it with the invasion later uh, when she talked to Renna? Let me see. She gives us a cube. I don't know what it is, but she th she said if she can open it, and Renna said she already had made preparations for that. Ah, here it is. It was when she talked to Renna. I see. Then take care of it before the invasion. So maybe this is something to get climb. Maybe, maybe I, because so far. I think the only thing that really matters for Rena is Climb, right? She wants to enslave Climb and wants to have him by, by his side when he's like really weak, right? So that he's like helpless. She likes that. She gets off on that. Um, so maybe they plan to invade. And in that time, she has to like get everything ready for herself that she can leave before the invasion. So they plan on invading Reestes. Dude, this is crazy. I can't wait. Man, this is... Holy shit, this is lit. <laughs> I don't know why they said lit. But man, this is crazy. I can't wait. This is holy shit. Oh boy, I'm so hyped for this, man. This, like, the ending now blew me away. Completely blew me away. This is just crazy. But yeah, um, I ended here because I'm already talking for, like, eight minutes or whatever. Or nine minutes. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's just crazy. I, f I feel like the first half of the, of the episode was, again, very slow. Had some good moments, interesting moments. Um... With, like, for example, that uh, Brain or that Gazov had, like, this one ability that um, 
he never used, which he learned from his from this guy before, and that gas and that brain doesn't want to be the uh, head knight of the kingdom because he feels like he's not fit for it, but he doesn't have connection to like royal to like nobles to find someone that is like worthy basically. Um, and then <laughs> with Evil Eye being like all over a Mormon again, and then she realizes, oh, but damn, he's in uh, in Ayn's kingdom and works for him which is bad, and th that she thinks that he's the only one that can defeat Eins, which makes sense. I mean, it's, a it's, the, same, it's the same person, right? But and, and we know how that turns out. And yeah, I, I wonder I wonder if maybe, oh, here, yeah, maybe Albedo used a spell on the dude that came to her, because when he came to her, he had, like, this weird vision going on, like, as if he was, like, drunk or something. Maybe it was, like, a charm, because she's a succubus, right? So maybe it was a charm. Because they, she planned from the beginning that he, that she would use him, right? So she maybe put a charm, on, a charm on him, with her succubus abilities, and then got him to talk to her and all that stuff. And he thinks, oh, this is my idea. I'm so smart. And in reality, it's not. It's just her using him. Oh my god, this is so good. And when the door opened and it's just this big crack, and you're like, oh, he's gonna die, and he's not. And afterwards. Alberto just is super pissed. Oh my god, I love that so much. It's so awesome. But yeah, that's it for episode 2 of Overlord <laughs> Season 4. I'm so hyped for it, man. I can't uh, I can't believe it how good this is. The episode 2 is so good. But yeah, like I said, I have to end it here for now. Um, next episode, I can't wait, dude. It's been one more week until we have episode 3 and oh, I can't wait. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see saw if you or if you want to support me leave a like it would help leave a comment if you want to talk about the episode i would like it. i would appreciate it and leave us leave a sub i would also appreciate that so yeah thanks for watching i really appreciate it and <laughs> till next time bye bye